Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and I just did a video a little bit ago that I am currently uploading. <laughs> I'm still experimenting with this new this new um, setup that I have uh, to, I think it will be really, really nice. It'll be really, really easy as soon as I can figure it out. I haven't quite done that yet. So, anyway, I'm going to give it my best shot here. We'll see how you like the... The first one, when when you do see it, it's uploading right now, um, took forever because number one, I spent so much time talking and doing what I was doing that I um, didn't pay attention to time and it was nearly an hour long. So it's taken a little bit to upload. Uh, I'm going to be working on right now, I'm gonna start out with a single sheet. Uh, I'm not gonna be two, doing a two page because I'm not ready. Um, and my grandkids just got here. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, I'm using a 12 by 12 uh, polka dot, tiny polka dot background sheet of paper. And then this is a light blue with a little bit of a check pattern. They're from the books that I just showed you when I did my last layout. Um, I'm doing this one though, I am doing a scrapbook layout of Halloween. I'm gonna kind of be jumping around with the holidays here. I've got one ready to go, uh, the 12 by 12 page, and then I cut it, the 12 by 12 in half, so I got a six by six that I'm gonna be working on to bring some blue in. Now what I'm trying to do, my big mission here on this particular layout is I've got the three kids, I've got um, my three grandkids. This was a trick or treating night. Ooh, and I'm gonna tear part of that off of this. I'll tell you what, this, this ATG gun, um, glue is unforgivable. So I'm going to have to throw that page out. And this was not going to let loose. And it was crooked. I've never had it happen where it tore that bad. It must have been my lack of patience that, oh, you know why? I'm using the different, I usually use the, um, the, one that's the F, not acid free because I don't really care for decorations and this one is the acid free tape and it is stickier. So guys, if you put something down and it's not what needs to go, you're in trouble. Um, I wanted to bring all the colors together because Kendall went as Elsa and Will went as Buzz or Lightyear and Isabel went as a little insect. So what I'm trying to do is bring all those colors together. So there's purple in Will's hat in this picture. And there was the blue and the purple from Elsa. Elsa was blue, but, but Anna was purple. And I have this particular, this was a card that I made and I cut the card off and, and just am using it as a die cut. And you can see that little bit of Anna in there and she has the purple. So I've got my purple and my blue to bring into this picture of Kendall. This is when she had leukemia and we had gone to, we had just gotten back from Disney World. No, yeah, we just gotten back from Disney World. Um, and she went in and got her uh, done, the princess makeover and done as Elsa. However, she didn't have any hair she was so devastated because Charlie went in and got her hair done. She had long hair and she came out and her hair was all done up like a princess and Kendall's ball. Oh, she ended up going as a gypsy that night at Halloween trick or treat in, um, at Disney world. She was just so, and we didn't, oh, it's heartbreaking. It really was. Oh, my, my husband just set the alarm off cooking. We converted it from a, a electric range to gas, um, a while back. And the problem is that my husband believes only one temperature for cooking and that's high. So with gas, uh, it cooks a lot hotter. So we have a, I don't know if he's trying to come in the door or not. Anyway, I just laid, this is a six by six inch square and it was actually a purple spider design. And then here's another square of the blue that I meant to put behind there and I forgot to, so I'm gonna have to do it a little bit differently than I was because 
I have the purple for that and the blue. I'll just cut some of it off. No big deal. I'm not going to tear it off again. You just saw how that works for me. And again, guys, um, be patient with me with the camera because I will keep playing with it. That's why I'm going to be doing a lot of scrapbooking is playing with the camera to see what works best. One thing I do like is it comes with a little light that hooks onto my camera that when I watched the last film that I just did, the lighting on it I thought was great. The only problem is, is that I did the filming instead of landscape. I did a portrait. I think that's the difference. And um, I didn't like it. It was too, too narrow. So this time I'm doing it landscaping and hoping this is better. You guys will tell me if it isn't. Um, and it is easier for me using my phone versus using the camera and my phone for the pictures and, and going back and forth between the two um, is a nightmare. So I'm hoping this works out for me because I really like it better. I'm hoping you guys do as well. I'm going to cut this flake in semi-half. Half. Oh my gosh, that's so much stuff to sit around. And... Then I'm going to cut this. Oh, it's already cut off, so what do I care? I've got to cut it a different direction. I'm going to put it down here. I thought I had an idea of what I was going and where I was headed with this, and all because I forgot to put this piece down. I'm completely rerouted as to where I'm headed on this layout. This is also a 6x6, six six, which was part of the blue that I cut off. This, again, is not a packet. The, I'm trying to get through as many of these um, layouts as I can, as soon as I can. I'm gonna bring this down because she's cut halfway off here and she's cut off on the side because it was a card. I made these, these birthday cards um, quite a while ago and I had a few extra I made them, I can't remember for who. And I said I was gonna glitter that last one and I didn't. And I'm not going to. Again, these are my kids, and I, I know they don't, they're not going to get all bent out of shape. It's not glittered. Didn't use the glitter at all. My husband pulled out a scrapbook today um, that was of his heritage. I did his from when he was a baby. And his sister got to talking about ballet for some reason. And he remembered in that book that I had made him little pictures of his sister and her ballet elf. <laughs> her ballet outfit so he just had to have it and sent, take pictures of it and send it to her like remember these and um, it was pretty funny the pictures were hilarious um, and um, bring that where should I bring that one I think I'm going to bring it here hmm, hmm, hmm. nope I'm going to bring it there um, they, they, they get reminiscing all the time and then they get laughing so hard they can't can't, oh my gosh, the glue. I don't like this tape either, guys. This is the reason I don't use the acid-free. I do not like it at all, at all. And I've been scrapbooking for years, and my scrapbooks that I use the regular ATG tape, I've never had an issue with it. I don't have it yellowing, cracking. I don't have any of that. You know, they say, and it could be, because I, I do have older pictures um, of my kids that, that are stuck in books and ruined and, and from being stuck mainly from those old magnetic books that they made but i've not had any issues with my newer versions um and so i'm not gonna get all wigged out about the tape because i hate this one i don't know why i stuck it in there it's it just i shouldn't say hate my husband always has a fit when i use that word we don't hate. We don't hate things. So I apologize. I don't hate. I do not like this glue. I do not like this tape. I don't hate anything. Shouldn't say that either. But I won't admit to it. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. My poor postman. Um, Every time he comes to deliver mail, he has to get out of his car because he's got to get out and deliver a package. You know, he's not UPS, so I'm sure he's not real thrilled about having to get out to deliver, but he does. I went out shopping with my daughter one day and decided that was as much fun as I needed for this year. 
So I came home and did the rest online, which I don't like doing that, guys, because it's putting businesses and people out of jobs when we do everything online, even though you'd never know to look at the malls that they were hurting at all by online purchasing. These snowflakes came in a packet that I got at, I want to say, I'm sure it was Michael's. Uh, um, it was the, it was real big one year. No Hobby Lobby, I think. And you know what? There's two here. And I bet you there was two in that first one. Bet you there's one under here. Because they're super, super thin. And I'd be willing to bet. And it was right. There's one under there. So, these are really super thin. Um, they were in a Christmas. <laughs> I, you know what? I got this other glue. Why am I doing this instead of just using a different glue? Oh, my, 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 my. I'm having a hard time shifting gears from um, making decorations to scrapbooking. I love this stuff. The only thing that I have a problem with is that it clogs very, very early on in its age. At a very young age, I will say, this starts to clog. I get about halfway through the bottle and it no longer wants to come out and play. So, but I love it. And I love the smell of it. It's got, I don't know what the smell is, but it reminds me of something that, of my childhood. And I don't know what it is it's like almost like a cleaning element believe me that wouldn't have been one of my fondest memories growing up but I have update I didn't give anybody update lately with my mother I usually kind of give you an update on her um, she's still up to her antics of trying to escape she's been trying to get out and got caught a couple times um, and if she keeps it off I told her that what they're going to end up having to do is put on a lockdown facility. She tells me she's not trying to get out, but I, I, I do know that these people just wouldn't call me and say, hey, your mother tried to get out just for giggles. They wouldn't do that. Um, I'm using all the characters here that are in this photo so that I can bring it all together or just make it a cluster one or the other but it's okay anyway um so i was taking her out for the day um the week of thanksgiving and it went absolutely awesome thanksgiving day i went to get her because we do thanksgiving on wednesday not on thursday because of the divorce of my daughter but anyway i told that story already too many times um and i went to get her and she didn't feel good, so I left and she called me at seven o'clock at night and I asked, well, was I coming? And I said, well, I've already been there. You didn't feel good. She said, you never came up here. And we'll make a long story short. She didn't believe me and hung up on me. She was pretty ticked off. And uh, she's been having a rough few days. It's not been easy at all. They called me this morning, FaceTimed actually. And um, she said that they, she went in and told them they stole her phone and her iPad. And they didn't, she hides it all the time. And this is going on day two or three. And I had told them to check and look for it. I cannot be dropping what I'm doing and run up there and do this because this is one of the things that she does to get me to go up there. And so I tell them where to look for it. And man, did she get tipped. She started yelling at me and telling me to get up there. And, and they helped, the woman that was working on the FaceTime had said, whoa, yeah, she's not gonna come up and visit you if you're gonna yell at her like that. And uh, she's, yeah, it was not pleasant. It was not pleasant at all. But um, I don't want her using those tactics to get me to go up there all the time. So I have to make sure she understands that that's not, gonna, that's not how it's, I can't do it. I have my grandkids today and and um, got a lot on my plate and I can't be dropping everything because I'm, I'm not kidding. Every time I drop her off, I take her, I bring her home for the day and I take her back and I try and leave and then she's got a hundred things that she wants me to look at 
and um, it's always the same things, but I know it's just because she doesn't want me to leave. And I understand all that, but man, I sure wish my brothers were here to come take over a little bit now and then. But it's like wishing for snow in Florida. Don't foresee that happening. But anyway, there we go. Another, bet had to have another one there. And again, guys, what I was trying to do on this one is since the three are in the picture, I wanted to bring in the little bug the Buzz Lightyear and the Elsa. So that's what I have. And I will get a picture and get this uploaded and I will keep playing with my camera until I have it mastered. Oh, we're gonna try the off button. I did last time and it wouldn't turn off. So we're gonna try that again and see if it goes off. So I will chitter chatter and see if I turn if it turns off. It's, whoops, I suppose I should turn it that way, huh? We'll try that and see. Nope, it didn't. I said, I think it did, and it didn't.